a few things I will never do as an African mom. Yes, I said never do. <laughs> Number one, force my kids to go to school when they are sick. Because why? Because even as an adult, you know, you take a break. Take your meds, see that you're okay, relax. Amen, Emeka. Emi is clearly sick. You're seeing that he's sick. Why are you forcing him to go to school? Now, we think we'll learn that the nine go make and get sense. Make it make sense. A child's mental health will be very important. I should not always have a say. It's not when you see a child acting weird or feeling somehow. Some of you paying attention and listening, you're telling them, come stand up and get busy. Stand up and get useful. Do this, do that. Uh uh. Forcing my kids to pick a particular career when I'm not the one with the brain, the one attending the classes for them, the one doing the studying for them. <laughs> No one knows what the nose knows. If you plan to be a doctor and right now you're doing POS, let me know in the comments. So, because for African parents, the top three careers, doctor, lawyer, and uh, engineer. Is it engineer? Some of you were indecisive of a career until you won. <laughs> you switch from science to art because your intelligence, they deep like crypto. <laughs> or more flogging and beating your child unnecessarily every time you pick on son. Not be saying you don't go collect though. You go collect as when do you? You understand but not be that and make ask you to buy me something you come on get up ah, ah easy eh oh um, i collect though i chop can chop wire with the curiously not trying my mouth i will give my child proper sex education what is if a man touches you you're pregnant now gen z this one's now you wanted those ones where they experiment almost um, sit down your picking give them proper sex education it won't kill you man it will help. I'm telling you. Something that important. They don't even talk about it as much in school. Teachers shy away from it. Most of us had to learn from other people's parents and other people's experience, which I don't think is nice. I mean, tell your, educate your child. Educate, look, see how it's going. At a certain age, I'd like my child to be comfortable enough to introduce me to their boyfriend or girlfriend. Because no matter how you know, like I'm the girl now. So it's either in front of you or behind your back. So how would you want to know? Do you want them to confide in you or not? Choice is yours. I don't think it's absurd to let your child know the importance of a condom. What would you rather prefer? They come back home pregnant or they bring in a pregnant girl to the house? Please don't leave your child to the society. They will spoil them if that's what you think. The ITK, the I knows that I knows. If you agree with me, uh -huh. if you not agree with me, mm. note that this video is my personal preference and it has nothing to do with you. Okay?